but man, we just saw him lay his cards on the table. This athlete, so skilled. He's got the ski racing style, but the, the X Games freestyle bag of tricks, unreal. Ross, so excited to see him on the big face today. Such a stylish rider, chucking flat spins on the Palmer on the way up in Andorra. So what's he got for us on the way down in Fever Ruin? Super excited to see how he interprets his face. As you can see, just buttering around, tail pressing, but coming into a gnarly section. So he's got to be able to mix up both of the styles. Like you see, he's got that ski racing background that allows him to arc those turns, control that speed without having to put the thing sideways. But this first air... Going for a massive backflip and could not have landed that cleaner. It almost looked like he didn't leave the ground. And now look at him making his way through this crust. Absolutely no issues with control. Love to see the way he controls his edges. Now Ross carrying a ton of speed through this section. Jump turning down, getting pushed. Now Ross into this lower section. We saw Tao through here clean, getting the grab. Ross Tester making a strong case for it. Cork three, going for the grab on that one, stomping it so smooth. This guy is just having an absolute fiesta on the way down here. Ross Tester blowing it up. Don't crash this here like Marcus Eder did on the, almost exactly the same run that he did last year. Opting to go around it, maybe not a bad idea because that landing is pretty damn flat and still looking like he's having a real good time in that good-looking snow. Yeah, Ross now into this lower tree section, just making his way around the bushes, trying to stay out of the avalanche debris. I think strategically that was pretty smart skiing from Ross. He did a ton at the top, and he came down into what we're sort of calling the dream killer, uh, which is this lower section that's just full of debris and weird crusty snow, and just said, no, nah, I'm done. I've done what I needed to do up top with a huge backflip on the Marcus Eater fl flip cliff, and then finding the, the balance on the, the one that took um, Tao out with the big cork three. You can see him flare his feet out. That flip it, it, right into a turn. Look at the technique there. Technique, air and style, just blowing the doors off. Oh, look at the drone shot on that 360. So dope. So very, very similar to run to what Marcus Eater did last year, except Marcus then tried to flat three that one. He just skied around and crashed because the landing is so flat. And a lot of people said, I wonder how Marcus would have done if he hadn't hit that. He didn't need to. So now we get to see. This is great. This is like a year later we get to have our wishes answered.